Hi guys, I am home from Maine. It's Saturday night and I really need to finish unpacking. So this is what I packed on my trip and what I used and what I didn't use and this is my caboodle. We did drive. So when you drive, obviously you can pack differently than when you fly. Like that's a total different game changer. So I'm scared for what's in here actually. Okay, what did I bring? Hair clips? Yes, obviously. Oh, okay, yeah, that needs that needs to be washed. Smashed pennies. Um, we went to Hershey Park. We drove from Chicago to Hershey Park, and I smashed pennies because I do that, and it ended up in here. I was looking for this. Random chocolate bar, awesome. Hair ties, always a must. Oh, I found a random rock and it says to go to Facebook and say that I found a repainted rock and so if you painted this and you're seeing this thank you very much I will leave it here in Chicago and we will see how far it travels I have a pen I just like threw everything in here to just leave as early as possible because the drive home was really, really long. Uh, brought these with me. Love these. Almost added these. Need more. Random bar of soap. That's not exciting. Random Sharpie. Not exciting. Um, sunblock. Obviously, use sunblock. Um, this was my face wash. I brought this one because actually I packed two, but the other one I ended up finishing and then I just threw it out. I did keep it for like an empty video or anything, but this one was like my backup, so I use this. Um, I have two of these from Scentbird from like way, way back in the day, and I was trying to use them up. So, oops, sorry. I'm like really, really, really tired. So I don't have, oh, I have more in here than I thought. This is the Rebecca Minkoff one. And then this is the Rebecca Minkoff blush, which you can tell I like this one more and it's almost used up. And I like to travel with these because they're less likely to break. Like I don't really like traveling with like a glass thing of perfume. Like it's, it's just too dangerous for me. I've had them, had problems. So I travel with these. And they work out really well. Ugh, my allergies have totally kicked in now that I'm home. Um, my lip oil, which <laughs> is pretty much... Oh, no, this one's not that bad. The other one's the one that's, like, almost empty. Ugh, what else? Uh, face lotion. This one's actually almost empty as well. My mini it cream. This is really almost empty. Uh, my mini overnight serum. Again, almost almost done. I pack a lot of the minis because it's just easier. Um, the Odin's eye. Um, that's really disgusting. Um, so is this one. I'm gonna have to wash those later. Random razor. Allergy eye drops. Big surprise. We're not surprised by this. Random fishing bracelet. Okay. Sorry, there's random stuff in here that's that's not makeup, so totally apologize. My Tatcha Water Cream Mini. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, my poor primer mini. Yes, absolutely. I brought this mini covergirl one that I got in the Meyer like mystery box, and it actually performed really, really well. So, yeah, it was like I just opened it for this trip because my Essence one kicked the bucket. So, yes. Uh, 
Uh, I wore this Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. It's the Walk of a Star. Okay, um, a handful of more dirty brushes. I wore this one from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Walk of No Shame. Wore this one. Oh yeah, here's the one that's um, barely, barely hanging on. Barely hanging on. My Tatcha Silk Canvas, which I think might have one more use left. Maybe. Maybe. I think I killed it on the trip. This mini one. I, um, yeah, I, yeah, I killed this one too. This, I don't even, yeah, we're going to, we're going to have some empties from this. Luckily I brought this one as a backup, but I had already used about half of it. So there's not much left in this one. But I had already had this one open, so I was like, okay, just bring that with me, which I did. I brought my mini pillow tuck, which <laughs> sadly is almost gone, which I did use. I did use the Pat McGrath Nude Venus. It's a really, really pretty kind of like neutral shade. I brought my mini Tarte Shape Tape. For under eyes this one's actually eh, almost dead too but I did use it um, I wore this on date night the YSL a, a blue red or a red with blue undertones and it's gorgeous and I love it obviously this came with me I'm gonna have to get another one of these I fear this one's almost out random random this is the my eye primer that I really like but you have to shake it before you use it if you don't shake it before you use it like it kind of bleh, like all over the place so you always have to shake it and then obviously yeah that happens and I brought this one because I'm almost done with it so that's good almost finished that up Tweezers. Tweezers are a must-have. Must-have. They don't even go in the pot. They go over there. Um, so, what did I do, 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 do? What else is in here? Oh, the NYX Glitter Glue. Um, I only wore this once. The Too Faced neutral color. And I like the metallic packaging. It's like, it's like magnetic. Like, I could just sit here and just do that. But I have buckyballs, so it's fine. I have other magnetic things to play with. But I did wear this once, so not too bad. Oh, and this is the eyebrow stay gel that I use. You can tell because I put the color on and then the clear on, and then obviously it gets tinted. So I use that side for my eyebrows, and I haven't used the other side. So the products that surprised me... Not really surprised me. I wore this a lot. A lot, a lot. Um, but this one does expire in October, so which is fine. It'll be like snowing by then again, so I'll have it used up. But I did use this quite often. I also used my e.l.f. Camo Powder Foundation in Fair 120N. I brought my Dior Backstage Powder No Powder. Obviously, that's like, um, I keep everything in boxes. It's like really straight. It's like an OCD thing. This really surprised me. This, I don't know why I keep putting it back in the packaging. Like, I really don't know why. The Winnie the Pooh ColourPop Super Cheek one in Silly Old Bear. This is amazing. Like, th like this is like a gateway highlighter, okay? Like, I put it... As an inner corner highlight, I put it on my brow bone. I put it like on the side of my face, like as an actual highlighter. It doesn't give me a cast. It just it doesn't mess with my foundation. It it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. I I have been using the crap out of this. Like this, I didn't think that I would turn into a highlighter person because I'm like barely a blush and bronzer person. But this. This has changed my whole perception of that. Like, I used the heck out of this product. 
And then I did try to use blush. I have one of these. I got this at like the cosmetic company outlet for like $11. It's really, really pretty. I did use it like once or twice. It's in Coral Pop. I used the heck out of my Milani Cream to Powder Foundation. This was like, yeah, I used that a bunch. I have my NYX Banana Powder. So, yes, use that as well. I use my Charlotte Tilbury powder. Let's see. I only use this this once. Obviously, sunblock. <laughs> use the heck out of that thing. Uh, two of the butter bronzers from like the my mini physician's formula. I did not use this one. This one is too dark for me right now. But I did use this one, um, but not in the purpose that it was intended I actually used it as an eyeshadow um so I mean it looks really pretty as an eyeshadow so I did use it it just wasn't for the intended purpose I did bring the Star Wars palette with me and I was like mm, why am I bringing this <laughs> I actually used this a lot um, I did put the Silly Old Bear and that one on, but I really did use this a lot. It probably doesn't look as spectacular as it did. But, like, you can do neutrals looks with this, but then you can also do, like, glam light, you know, not glam light, but, like, glam, like, nighttime, like, date night looks with this. So, like, I would just use some of the browns and then, like, the gold, like, for, like, just, you know, normal, and then I would kind of glam it up a bit for, like, date night. So this is a lot more versatile than I gave it credit for and I got a lot more use out of it than I thought I would. So I'm like really into this palette now like because that's what I had for the week. So I like bonded with ColourPop. It's kind of crazy. Like I can't go anywhere without my Chaos Dirt eyeshadows. Like I, I just can't. They're not all Chaos Dirt. So what I brought that I didn't end up using, I brought my Dragon Beauty but I did not use it. I brought a Dragon Beauty Mini. Did not use it. I brought this Clinique Black Eyeliner. This one's almost, almost dead. So I brought that. And then I brought a black and brown one from Dragon Beauty as like my backup. I thought I would use the brown one more, but I ended up ended up not using it and then the other black one I didn't have to get into because that one's not completely dead yet but it's really really close. Liners. I used the red one. I didn't use these because they're unopened. I did use this one though. My Charlotte Tilbury one. This one I used. It's it's really short. So this one I used a lot and I brought this little mini elf palette with me but I didn't end up using it because it was in the bottom and it was buried and and I forgot about it, so I'm sorry, but I really love it. And when I fly, this is a definitely, you know, going to go because I'm not going to be able to pack like this when I fly for work. Since I drove, like I said, I had more leeway. The product that I really, really love, I don't know if you've ever heard of this. It's a company called um, Indigo Wild. They're based out of Kansas City. They make a product called Zumrub and mine's in Tea Tree Citrus. And this stuff is kind of like an all-purpose salve. You can put it on um, your skin, your heels, your cuticles, your lips, tattoos. You can use it as a makeup removal balm. You can use it for hair frizzies. Um, the older ones, because I've gone through several tins of this, the older ones said uh, you could use it. I've used it on burns, like mild burns before, mild cuts and scrapes, um, stuff like that, even like mild sunburn. Um, it's like an all-purpose salve. They're like eight or nine bucks a tin. They last a really long time. I'm getting close, but I do have backups. I have a backup in Dragon's Blood, which is like my favorite one. And this is like an all-purpose everything. Like you can get your eye makeup off with it. You can get, it's everything. So instead of having to pack like a ton of stuff, you pack one of these and you're good to go. I did bring back a bunch of Icelandic chocolate because I went to Iceland like five years or six years ago. And I haven't seen this since, but since I was up in Maine, I'm like, hoo-hoo, and then I found a bunch of it, so I brought some home. When I fly, everything pretty much has to fit in here. But driving, like I said, I had a lot more leeway. So I did go to TJ Maxx while I was there. 
and Ulta and Sephora because it did rain one day. So I do have a whole video that I will make when I'm not exhausted. And um, yeah, so look for that. And I found a bunch of different stuff there than I did here in the Midwest. So that was really interesting. And they definitely vary by region. So that will be coming soon. And hope you enjoyed this. And please like and subscribe. Consider hitting that button and the like button and everything else. And I will keep you guys posted. Okay, bye.